So you see, I've got my friends in uh, Moscow, in Russia. His name is David. David. And uh, his wife is Luba, my dear sister in Christ, my dear friends. And they decided to buy Bibles for my friends, pastors, fellow pastors. And today we want to uh, give those Bibles to some of you who, who don't have such books. You see... That's very, very important that you have the Word of God. And I want this person whom I call, come by, introduce yourself, and uh, just shortly, well, you can say something about yourself shortly, and speak a short prayer about this family and about Russia. But shortly. Okay? Uh, so, church, church Nahosi, Holiness Covenant, and position women leader, and the name Lydia Masika. Lydia Masika. Lydia Masika. She has not. Uh, she has not. Okay. Can take okay. Well, probably. All right. Well, first person is not. <laughs> okay. We'll try the second one. Evangelist Moses Wasike. Church. Moses Wasike. Church. Chaptakai, Kenya. Aha. Mr. Moses, hi. Greetings, 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 greetings. So, tell us about your deeds for God. Where do you evangelize? How do you do it? Louder. I preach at the Kenya Assembly. I'm an evangelist. And I thank God because of this day. I didn't know that I will be blessed with such a blessing. But God had a plan. May God bless those people who gave this. May God be with you. Amen. Amen. You see, yes, it's come from... Yes. <laughs> his heart, his desire, he really draw the supernatural help from Mungu. It's from and for Mungu. Metoka kwa Mungu ni kwa lakini kitana ni kwa sababu ya Mungu. Этот брат, я по-русски скажу пару слов. Его зовут Moses Vasike, и он является евангелистом из Ассамблеи Божьей. Uh, che, what do you call this? Cheptarakai. Is it far away from here? Недалеко селение Cheptarakai. Он служит Богу как может, евангелизирует. И вот наконец-то сошла на него такая благодать. Давид, спасибо большое. Pastor Estereo. Omunauni. Mr. Omunauni. Church Peter. Loving Faith Bible Church. Итак, у нас пастор Дестерио Аманю Аманауни. Омунауни. Sorry for that. Омунауни. Ите называется так, церковь в Кении живой. Так, Живой верой библейская церковь. Go ahead, said something good. I thank God. Kwa wema wa Mungu ambaye amepitia kwa mtumishi wa Mungu amenifikizia hivi Biblia kutoka kwa Roho Mtakatifu. I thank God for goodness through the servant of God to bring such a blessing to me. Kama vile alivyosema kwamba Mungu anatumia mwanadamu mwanadamu wenzao kukufikia. Just as he was teaching us that God used people to reach you and also to bless you. 
Sasa ni na sababu ya kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu Biblia itafanya ka, itanipea hekima ya neno la Mungu na ni Mungu. I have everything to thank God that through this word of God it will give me wisdom to go deeper to know God. Na nitafundisha wengine pia hekima ambayo nitatoa kwa humu ndani. And I will teach others for wisdom that I will get from this word of God. Na najua kwamba itakuwa imeniondolea ujinga ndani mwangu kino. This word will take away my ignorance and give me wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Аминь. Брат говорит, что эта книга ему даст мудрость, удалит всякое невежество, даст ему знания, понимание, и он сможет учить других из этой книги. Слава Богу за него. Мо... Моисей Мозес. Этого брата зовут Моисей. In Russian, this, your name is Moisei. Yes. <laughs> so, Church uh, Salama B. Salama B. Uh, I won't name the name. At first, say the church, and you will think who is here. Am I, am I, am I the Salama B? No. Um, yes. Calling this covenant ministry. So, Pastor J. Gladys Muyonga, she knew already that she's the only person probably from the church here, right? <laughs> Miss Gladys, welcome. This is for you. Can you pray for the sight of David? He's, he's almost blind. He's got very, very serious problems with his eyes. And I talk about David. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we worship you. We lift your name because of David. Because of his eyes, oh Lord, we want to pray for him. May you, God, touch David now. Move everything in his heart. In the name of Jesus. Leva saida kesha ribisha. Ngoa yote kesha ribakia. Ngoa yote ribisi kivase. Ngoa yote katika Jesus Christ. Tuna butu tukisema Bwana utamkuza na Mungu wangu maisha yake itawatching David and his eyes is going to be restored. He was do you want to say something? Nataka kusema kitu. Tunasema asifiwe sana nitawasalimu wa Mungu. Praise God. Praise God. Hii ni kanisa yetu. This is our church. Hii ndio inasaa salama. This is the one that uh, salama. Nalikuwa tuna Biblia. Lakini itakuja ili tu eneza neno kwa watu wetu ili wapate kupona na kuinuka na wenye wapati hata watoto wadogo ili wajue neno la Mungu. Это сестра из селения Салама. А Салама это по сути как вот мирный город. От слова салам, шалом. Да? То есть у нас такая мирная. Let the word of God would be revealed for you supernaturally, yes. so that your eyes would see those truths and would really bring this light to many, many people. Amen. Amen. Let it be so. Let it be so. Salama. We've got this sausage in Russia. It's called salami. Italian sausage. Oh, so tasty. Wow. Like smoked sausage. Yeah. Uh, again, eat a holy, uh, holiness covenant ministry. Simon Wani Wanioni. Wanioni. Simon Wanioni. Is it no, that correct? Wanioni. 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 <laughs> so, 
So, look, so I hate it. <coughs> all the truth, all 66 books. <coughs> Thank you. Do you want to say something? <laughs> yes. I just want to say thank you for the people that are here now. Thank God. Because he has given us this land. And thank God for the people that are here now. His word. We will learn. So, here in church. May God bless you. Where this Bible Where this Bible is coming from. May God continue blessing them abundantly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Use it for the glory of God. And guys, please use those Bibles like notebooks. Get some pencils, markers. I mean, don't only kiss this Bible. Okay? Don't let it sit somewhere on the shelf. Use it. But use it with clean hands. Because you remember this, this uh, Bible is like, inside it's like Mizungu, it's white. But it could become Africa in a week or a month if you don't wash your hands. Okay? And now, the most interesting moment. Love, 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 love. Everywhere. And it's called with Cupendo. It's just covered with agape. Oh, so good present. Who do you think it belongs to? The seal of God. As they say, I'm the most, I'm the humblest person in the house. It's for the Bishop Nixon. This is a great, great Bible. I want you. I want you to open this uh, nice wrap, and you will see. You, and you will show it to all the people. It's just great Bible. With it's called Bible with the eyes of Africa. Hmm? Yeah. And uh, it's like with maps, with commentaries, with some specific cultural hints, tips. And uh, I guess it will be a blessing for all association. Amen. Yeah, this rap is so nice that we don't want to destroy it. <laughs> we want to use it again because it's love. Hey, love, love. Be careful with love. <laughs> yes. Look. Hey. Africa, study Bible, and it's only the box. You see, it's like truth of God, and this is for special reading of this font. You have special magnifier. You see, <laughs> I know that your eyes are pretty good, but oh, you're so nice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, oh, yeah, you can you can take the Bible out of the box. You see, it's the box. Yes, and look at this, guys. Ooh. Hey, gold, gold inside, more than gold, more than gold. Amen. And so, guys, just if this favor of God will be from the bishop to you, Amen. he will read you a couple chapters. But in reality, I guess that it will enrich all of you. Because he will get new ideas, new directions, new sermons, new facts, and maybe. A if you would come to his house with clean hands, a couple mangoes, and pineapple, we'll, you'll read this Bible together. <laughs> it's very, very interesting for your blessing. So, will you say a couple words about the book? So, I'll talk in Swahili. Okay. I want to thank God <laughs> since I start preaching I've been using Swahili Bible today I'm blessed because they have blessed me with the English Bible 
Kwa hivyo sasa nimejua kwamba kuanzia nende kuwa mchezaji kwa kuisoma kindani they I'll be able to get courage and start study it in deep na nimejua hata Russia huko ndio nakupiri and I know even in Russia I will go and preach in English kwa hivyo nimesema kwamba ndugu yetu David popote ulipo and I'm saying that David wherever you are my our brother wacha Mungu akusa majaka na upata kuona pia uzitu kusaidia wewe may God bless you and also touch your eyes so that it will get well nimejua kwamba pipilia itaupiri katika utumiaji holiness covenant ministry I know this bible I will use it to preach in our holiness and government ministry pamoja na utuma ambao tunafanya na kazi ya covid trust na covid mission together with go with trust go with mission mungu abariki russia na wale watu walioko na mungu awasiti kwa jasa mungu may god bless russia and those people who are standing with us na tunahitaji mungu asiti kwa inua ndani ya maisha yetu may god continue lifting you Amen. 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 You see I guess that it's kind of a prophetic sign that I don't know about Russia but about Africa Amen. and the ministry of this guy. It should be all over Africa. That's my Africa. That's why you see it's even uh, interesting called God's word through African eyes. Neno la Mungu kupitia mate ya Afrika through African eyes. Yes. Neno la Mungu ni God's word, si ndio? Remember African eyes. Neno la Mungu kupitia wa Afrika. Because God is not Russian, not American. Mungu si Mrusi, si Mwamerika. Of course he is international. But he respects your culture. Mungu anaheshimu tamaduni yenu. He wants to keep your roots. Anataka kuweka misizi yenu na kujulikana kwako. Some things should be removed from the culture because they are anti somehow Jesus or Bible culture. But some should be kept stored and just and God speaks to every nation in its specific language na mungu ananena kwa kila taifa kwa lugha ambayo wanaelewa and big time only africans could preach to africans mara mingi wa afrika ndio nasaili wahubirie wa afrika because you have the heart for this nation kwa sababu muko na moyo muko na kala sawa muko na you see shauk moja and so that's why you have to be taught and you have to use such resources it's so it's, it's rather expensive but god i mean guys it's just for the word of god hey, we should put this goal in front of us get our bible not only bible resources i brought the whole suitcase of english literature nimekuja you can borrow those books from olga and gunters like library so please welcome but the one condition it should be brought back in the same condition wash hands washa mikono clean heart washa moyo pure mind awe na mawazo mazuri amen amen hallelujah thank you